Please don't leave me, Mom and Dad. I love you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Roxy. If you've read the title, you already know what this is, so let's get on with it. So, Finding Dory, the sequel to Finding Nemo about Dory. She goes to California to reunite with her parents, who she lost a long time ago, like a really long time ago. Along the way, she makes friends with a James Bond octopus, a whale shark who makes me wonder if they have contacts for animals, and a beluga who thinks that since about half of the characters in this movie have handicaps, he should have one too. This was a lot more serious than I thought it would be. I mean, it's about Dory the lovable and happy and adorable blue tang. I thought she just lived a normal life with her lovable and happy and adorable parents. Dory's the cutest little innocent fish in the world and my heart is just shattering into little pieces. She didn't deserve this. The movie was great. It was heartwarming, it was beautiful, it was fun, and oh my goodness, look at that animation. I can't explain to you how beautiful the music is. When you listen to any Finding Dory music, there will always be a 99% chance that feels will be raining down on you the whole way through. It made me feel like I was underwater in a coral reef. I love to be a fish. You get to go anywhere in the ocean you want. Nobody tries to kidnap you, except for humans. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. I mean, it's the scariest place in the world as well. I mean, you have to worry about sharks and barracudas, but it's worth it! What a nice day it is out here. Sure. During the movie, Dory has flashbacks of her childhood, which gives her more information on where her parents might be. So when she has a flashback, she hears something she's heard in her childhood, and then she rows back to that time. And I was thinking about what that looks like in the perspective of the ones around her. Be patient, she is having a flashback. Hank was a lot of fun. If I were asked to decide what character to make a third fighting movie about, I would definitely choose him. He looks so cuddly. I just want to hug him so much. Hey, Hank. Anyway, I'd like to know more about him. Like, what happened to his arm? Wait, wait. Wait, what's that? What's that? What's that on the wall? Guys, I think I have a theory! If octopus have brains and brain tentacles, and if you're one tentacle short, does that mean you're dumber than most octopus? I thought somebody in the movie was gonna have a love interest for no reason, because you know Disney, but there were no love interests in this movie at all. That would be a good thing, except I really ship Dorian Hank. <laughs> If you haven't seen it and want to, make sure you have some tissues. Lots of tissues. <laughs> I'm hoping that you liked this. If you didn't, well, too bad. I will try and make a review for another movie as soon as I can, but until then, goodbye. Great. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again. I wasn't listening. Uh, How many times do I have to tell you? You're not Kim Possible. I am. No, you're not. No. No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! You know, I think I'm gonna remember you. Ship! 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 Ah, you'll forget me in a heartbeat, kid. Ship! 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 Let's do the fort in the garbage disposal! <laughs>